Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with an update on my lap band um, revision to the sleeve update. Oh my god, I can't even. My brain is so frazzled today. So this is going to be just pretty much an update on my pre-op liquid diet because I started it I think four days ago. I'm going to be looking at the calendar and all that stuff. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel or if you just found this channel because you were curious to know what the gastric sleeve is or what the lap band is, it's a bariatric surgery option that you use as a tool. You obviously have to get surgery. So it's a surgery that you get. Um, use it as a tool to help you lose some weight and maintain it off uh, it is going to be an everyday battle just as it is if you did not have the tool with you or the surgery and um, yeah I mean I've had my lap band for two years now um, it will be three years in January but I'm actually getting my lap band taken out and I'm gonna get a revision to the gastric sleeve and I'm gonna get that done on October 26th I know that my last update video I stated it was November 11th but I also stated that I needed to talk to my husband about our options because he's also having the surgery and we wanted to do it around the same time so that we can help take care of each other yada 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 so i started the diet on wednesday the 14th because today is the 17th um i started it with him because that's when he has to do his his diet is different than mine which is very aggravating because i've already done this once before so i was very familiar with the program from my hospital but because he's getting it done with a different doctor they have like different rules and it's 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 frustrating because there's every doctor is different, every clinic is different, every program is different. So even though we're getting it done at the same hospital, because the doctors are different, their programs are different. So I'm being, I'm trying to be very mindful of of that of just realizing that his is different and it's not necessarily wrong. So I wanted to film um, today because I've already gotten over my hangry stage, which I've mentioned a lot in the last few days. And I do get hungry and stuff like that, but ideal. Um, my diet is a little different. I am on a low carb, extremely low carb, low to no fat diet. And it's go it's supposed to be for 10 days. So technically I was supposed to start yesterday, which was Friday the 16th, but I started on the 14th, which I'm fine with. I'm glad I got that head start because it's like the worst. The worst for me is the first two days. Hands down the worst for me. So, um, sorry. Ginger, hi baby. My ginger sent me a message. We've been going back and forth and I am so so glad you're going home soon so best wishes and I hope you recoup quickly anyway a liquid diet consists of needing three to four protein shakes a day so those are gonna be my meal replacements and in between then I can have one or two of the following which would be low fat um, plain yogurt um, low fat or light Greek yogurt um, plain or vanilla I think I think it's just plain because it's got the lowest grams of carbs guys read the labels I looked at 10 different brands from store brands to high-end brands or you know more expensive well-known brands of Greek yogurt and I was shocked that the labels were so different for the same flavors so anyway I'm allowed to have a couple of items in between my shakes if I'm hungry I can have one cup of cooked vegetables or two cups of raw vegetables of course you got to stay away from the starchy vegetables like potatoes corn peas beans you can't have any of that it really is just green so like broccoli peppers um, spinach raw spinach which is my favorite I haven't opted for that yet I haven't felt the need to just yet so I'm okay with that especially the first four days Woof, you know you get like I need something so anyway um, I can also have three ounces of cod or tilapia of tuna fish not um, 
stored in water of course not in oil ever and a three ounces of chicken breast cooked how i like it with the seasonings not as far as fats go so you can't add any oils butters or anything like that you can use like non-stick um sprays and stuff like that so they added that into my diet into their plan from the two years ago that i did it so i did notice that change but you know i have literally been sticking to eating like a couple slices of ham or of deli ham or turkey i'm, I'm just I'm having a hair malfunction day. You ever have just a hair, a bad hair day that you just, you don't know what's, what's this? Anyway, so I have a whole bunch of stuff here and it's gonna probably be the screenshot pic that you see. And these are the things that I was recommended to eat, drink, eat, drink. This is just the things that I know will work for me and that is best for me during this journey. So let me turn off my ringer and we can get started. First things first, the protein shakes that I absolutely love and that had worked for me up until whenever were the Atkins shakes. These are like amazing. I love it. I My favorite flavor is the milk chocolate delight. I haven't really ventured off to trying any other ones. When my husband started his journey and he had to cut out coffee, I got him like the Caramel Cafe one. Really? Okay. I got him the Caramel Cafe one and a Mocha one just so he can kind of get his like the coffee taste fix. And he did great with those. He actually really liked them. The only problem with these is that they're not all whey protein they are a mix so they have caseinite or caseinate they do have whey protein but they also have a lot of that um, casein in it which is a blend and the thing of it is when you're a bariatric patient you need to consider after surgery that this might not be the best solution for like a supplement like I can maybe have one of these a day and be okay but I really need to concentrating concentrate on getting the whey protein you know anything that has the maximum whey protein so that my body can absorb it so do I recommend these absolutely especially for pre-op because they're tasty to me this smells like you who and it kind of tastes like it too like these are not cheap it's frustrating as hell that in order to live a healthier lifestyle you have to spend so much money but whatever i found an eight pack at walmart recently for 10.97 like or 10.98 amazing deal compared to spending almost six something on a four pack so yeah all right so i picked some of those up for our pre-op and for work so <clears throat> these i picked up last time i did surgery but i did not like them because they were the fruit flavors so i opted to getting this one's my husband's i ended up picking the Centrax nectar and this one is um vanilla bean tort this is a whey protein isolate this has 23 grams of protein per scoop um the instructions say a quarter of a scoop is a serving size um but if you want the maximum protein, you are allowed to drink the 20, the, the whole scoop. What I recommend is taking a whole scoop to eight ounces or 12 ounces, depending if you like it really watered down. I've actually been making it in six ounces because I feel like it tastes a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I have a mixer. It's actually in my freezer right now. Not with this flavor because this is my husband's. He likes vanilla. I don't like this one. I tried it yesterday. I don't like the. It's just, it just, but it smells good. Like it, it smells like cake batter. <laughs> it really does. It smells very similar, like a little cake, um, you know, powder, like a pre-made cake powder. And you can see the flecks of vanilla in it, which is a nice touch because this isn't cheap. This is about $38.99. I picked this up at Vitamin Shop. Um, I don't know if everyone has those available to them. But anyway, I picked this up at Vitamin Shop. I picked this one up for myself, and it is the same one, Syntrax Nectar, but it is the double stuffed cookie. And this is good. Like, how do I explain this? I'm so picky, and I know it's annoying as shit because I can taste the way. Like, it just... I mean, who couldn't? Some people really love like protein drinks. They love the way they taste and stuff like that. But this one, it's once I mix it, I can smell it. And the smell to me turns me off. Now, when you smell it like this, 
it smells like freaking cookies and cream. Like I'm gonna show you guys the powder. It's got like dark specks in there. It looks like cookies and cream. And I take a whole scoop. This is the scoop. I, you know, I sift it out because it's very fluffy. I take it to work with me. I used to, now I don't because I figured mixing it at work is just annoying. So I actually just drink this at home. I have one actually waiting for me in the freezer because I kind of like making it almost into a slushy. I feel like I can tolerate it a little bit better. Is that weird? I don't know. Anyway, so um, my friend Danielle, she said she mixes this with a little bit of water and makes a paste out of it and puts it in yogurt. So I'm after surgery. I'm so going to try that. I think that's what you said, Danielle. Let me know down below if you like, what is it that you do with this? I, I thought you said you make like a little paste out of it and then you put it in yogurt. I don't know. It sounded delicious. <laughs> but anyway, this one's not bad. I should, I feel like I should have played it more safe and maybe just picked up a chocolate one knowing that I really like the chocolate flavor and the Atkins. So, but this one's not bad. So I can't even say that. It's just the smell of the way once you mix it, uh, and I'm stuffy, by the way, still. So anyway, guys, this video is going to be long. So in between the shakes and stuff like that, I have chicken broth. I'll have like a yogurt. Like just now I had some coconut vanilla Greek yogurt. That only has nine, nine, no, eight grams of carbs in it. Zero fats, zero, you know, like zero, zero, zero. But it had like eight grams of carbs. So that's a little higher than I want it, but I literally, even with eating one of those a day, I literally have been getting no more than like eight, nine grams of carbs throughout the day or 15 grams of carbs. So you really want to keep it down, especially when you're in this diet, you want to shrink the liver. But anyway, I digress. So in between that, I've been drinking broth or eating broth, acting like it's soup and I'll throw in an egg and make like an egg drop soup course make sure the egg is cooked so my favorite broth is this one right here it's the Goya reduced sodium bouillon powder bouillon and it's zero everything there's no fats to it obviously it's just the powder and it's got 144 milligrams of sodium or sodio in Spanish I forget they give you the Spanish version as well um so this is actually really 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 good um I might just pick up the regular version because I don't care. Um, but I picked these up for my husband because he likes the lower sodium stuff. So, And they're really good to me. I like these the best. Now, before I forget, one more um, protein drink that I did drink. And I actually did a review on it about two and a half years ago when I did my surgery. I did a review on the Isopure drinks. And I did a couple flavors. This one is the coconut flavor. And after I filmed this video, I'm actually going to do a review and like a first... I don't know, like a taste test of this only um, because I, I have had quite a few views on that particular video. I got to see if I can find it. I'll probably leave a link down below. It is horrible quality. It was literally filmed on my webcam, um, but it was two and a half years ago or almost three years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm going to review this. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, this has 40 grams of protein for one drink, which if you're a bariatric patient and you have the sleeve or the even the band this will take you about an hour to drink or so or longer um even with small sips so this has 40 grams of carbs 60 milligrams of potassium 50 milligrams of sodium and 160 calories so it's all right um again i'm gonna review it in a separate video so just keep a lookout on that i really want to update upload this video today it's gonna be a long one i already warned you it's probably already like over 10 minutes long um so yeah that's that Okay, so I, so I've had to opt for some vitamins. Um, and those of you that know me and that have seen my other videos, um, my update videos on the lap band, know that I could not stand a certain multivitamin. I tried and I tried and I tried and I just could not get, I just can't fucking like it to save my life. But because I have to be financially um conscious about what i'm spending because i'm already spending so much on the protein drinks and trying to eat healthier that i had to really reconsider getting these and yes um ginger and jen and brad and danielle it's the centrum chews i 
picked up the Centrum Chewables for adults. These are the next best thing to the bariatric ones. Um, and they're the most inexpensive that I have found. These 100 tablet ones, you, I'm going to end up taking two a day after surgery. But in the meantime, just take one a day. I haven't taken it since like two days ago. But after surgery, I have to be good. I don't care if I have to crush it to get to eat it. It's something about once I put it in my mouth, take it how you want to. Um, I literally just stick it in the side of my cheek and it just sits there until I get brave enough to chew it. And then it's just like a face for like 20 minutes. It's awful. It's, it's like awful to the point that I would gag with these, but financially this is the way to go. And I can't imagine that any of the other ones are going to taste any better. And I'm not trying to spend $30 on a 30 day supply when I could just spend $10 on a hundred tablets which is um, about a two month supply, if you think about it. Yeah, about a two month supply of these for $10. I found these at Walmart for the 100 pack. Not every store carries these. The Walgreens that I thought carried them does not carry them anymore. So you kind of have to shop around and you can find these online as well. So don't be discouraged if you're looking for a multivitamin and you need a chewable and you're okay with the uh, orange burst chalk, go for it so i picked up the vitamin b12 these are fast dissolves these are actually sublinguals you put them under your tongue you let it sit there for about 10 seconds and they start dissolving and you just move it around swallow whatever it is what it is so these are sublingual um they do shots and they have liquids as well so if you get the shots done obviously you get it done with your doctor um i would prefer getting it sublingual they say we need about a thousand mcgs a day and I, these are 2,500 MCGs. I actually picked these up for $8 at Walmart. So the price was great. Um, there's 120 tablets in here. So this is a three month supply easily. I don't have to take any more than one a day. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to absorb the whole 2,500. So I, um, at least to get, they said you get, need to take a thousand MCGs a day. You take it once a day, blah, blah, blah. Cause they do sell the thousand MCGs, but I found these and no shame. I ain't worried about it. And I honestly don't think we're going to absorb all that. So yeah, I picked that up and this is cherry flavor and this I can withstand. I don't know why. Okay. So the last things I picked up and I don't know how these are going to taste, but I was very grateful to find these because I totally had a meltdown at the store and not just the store. It was the sixth store I went to looking for everything and found nothing. Like I, I, I'm not one to go into a store and leave empty handed if I went there with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? So when I came to vitamin shop, it was like, Oh, you know, like that shit. So I want a little ham in there. I spent a good hundred something dollars, but it was enough to cover us or at least to get us started on our journey. So anyway, I picked these twin lab bariatric support uh, calcium wafers. This is chewable calcium citrate. And if you ask, go to four stores and ask those four stores, hey, do you guys carry calcium citrate chewables? And this is the look you're going to get because they don't make them like that. They don't. And these are 120 wafers. So this is actually a 30 day supply because you have to take four of these a day. I have a problem with these. Um, <clears throat> I have to get in at least 1500 milligrams of uh, calcium, of calcium. And I think it was like at least uh, 800. Yeah, 800 of vitamin D. But you get that with other nutrients as well, especially after surgery when you start taking in yogurt and stuff like that. You're going to get some more calcium in. So for four of these is 1,000, not 1,500. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I don't even know if I can take more than one of these. First of all, <laughs> the smell of these. Have you guys tried these? Um, Twin Labs. I don't know how they taste. I haven't even been brave enough to taste it. I, I figured... Let me torture myself after surgery, okay? So, yeah, um, I, I'm gonna take one out because it's so easy to. And uh, this is <laughs> this is the size of my fucking eye. Um, and this is the calcium wafer. This is one. I need to eat four of these a day. So morning, mid morning, you know, afternoon, mid, you know, night and evening. Take these. They're very overpoweringly 
chalky smelling. Um, <clears throat> it says citrus flavor. I, I don't know. It's, that's scary. That shit's scary as hell. Oh my God, I feel like I'm like 75 years old right now. Um, do I recommend these? Absolutely, and that's why I'm showing it to you guys. Especially after surgery, you're going to be so tired and you're going to be worried about getting your protein in and, and getting, getting your fluids in per se. First things first, you get to get your fluids in. But you're gonna be so worried about that firsthand that you're gonna kind of forget for a fact to take your medicine, especially four times a day. So what I did was, these are already pre-filled. This one's mine, my husband's is tucked away nicely. I have the calcium chews here in all the slots and then I have the multivitamins. I have two, cause you're supposed to take two a day and then I have my regular meds. So any regular meds that you would have to take in the morning, you still have to take unless it's described by your doctor. Um, so I'll still take my blood pressure meds and then I'll take my B12 in the morning as well. Um, so all this is pre-packaged for me. So once I'm done with surgery, I can come home. This is done. I don't have to worry about that until the next week and just kind of get myself into a routine. So, and then I have a reminder on my phone. So what I use on my phone to remind me of meds is actually this app right here. It's called MediSafe and it looks like that and it it's like a little blue pill and you pretty much just add everything in i love that because you can set a time for all your meds and it'll just it'll actually go into your it'll remind you and you could just shake it or just tap it that you took it and it's cute because it sounds like little pills shaking when it reminds you that i think it's cute so that's what i use and that app is called medisafe i you know what i'm just gonna leave the apps that i use down below and the products that i'm using um and i use my fitness pal to keep track of all the calories that i'm taking in so far i've had 125 calories today that's it and yesterday i think i had a total of 505 calories so I'm not trying to kill anyone yet, so that's always a nice thing. The first day of this pre-op diet was really tough for me. Like, I don't remember it being that tough the first time around, probably because I put myself in a food coma the day before. But I feel like I'm dealing with anxiety somewhere else. So for me to be at that place that I didn't want to be and dealing with the hunger, it was just too much. I had a migraine, like, you know, I dealt with all that. And then the next day I felt a little bit better and I tried to manage it a lot more. And then I had an extra protein shake because I knew that that was, that was what was getting to me. So if you're doing this journey, um, I totally recommend listening to your body. You're going to feel like shit a few days. You're going to be tired. But at the end of the day, it's for a good reason. The doctor's not putting you on this because they want to. It's because it's for the best. It's going to make the surgery go a lot smoother if your liver's not in the way and you don't have a fatty liver. Um, and it also shows them that you're determined. You know, it really does. When they go inside of you, they know that sounded awful um when they go inside and they see that your liver it looks good it's shrank they see how much weight you've lost from the last time they saw you which is usually around the time that you start your pre-op diet especially when you have to get a physical you know it's crazy i think i've already lost like four pounds and it's literally only been about four days since i started and i'm not counting from me not eating the day before so that says a lot. So anyway, guys, this is pretty much it. I know this is a lengthy video. I appreciate if you stayed this long. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I try my best to answer everyone. And I really like seeing that some of you guys are already on this journey or you've already done it and you love your sleeve or gastric bypass or lap band. You know, this is this is just a tool. And um, I didn't necessarily fail with the lap band. I just, I'm so scared of... God forbid slipping this band and causing more problems and just not being successful with it. So I decided to opt for something that might help me out a little bit. And if it doesn't, then it's something I have to deal with for the rest of my life. So I'll probably update you guys again in another few days if you guys want. Um, but I'll try to make it quicker, a quicker update because this was pretty much like a haul and like kind of like letting you guys know what I take and what I trust 
to take and some things I don't trust to take, but I mean, if you gotta eat chalk, you gotta eat chalk. Jesus Christ, I don't know how I'm gonna survive the zombie apocalypse if I don't have no vitamins, ooh. <laughs> anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Love you guys, bye.